We often hear the term vaccine efficacy. Do you know how to interpret it correctly? There is a common misunderstanding that goes like this. A person who receives the vaccine with an efficacy of 90% still has a 10% chance of sickness from an infection that the vaccine is made to prevent. This interpretation is not correct. Scientifically, vaccine efficacy is defined by this formula. Let me illustrate with an example. Suppose we have two groups of people, each group with 100 individuals. The first group does not receive any vaccine. The second group receives COVID-19 vaccine. Over a certain time, in the non-vaccinated group, 10 people get sick with COVID-19, giving a disease risk of 0.1. In the vaccinated group, only one person becomes ill, giving a disease risk of 0.01. In this example, vaccine efficacy is calculated to be 90%. A vaccine efficacy of 90% means that vaccinated people have a 90% less chance of sickness than non-vaccinated people. It does not mean that a vaccinated person has a 10% chance of becoming ill. Actually, the risk of disease also depends on other factors, like the general incidence of infection in the community, and the chance of developing symptoms resulting from the infection.